Welcome back to the Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Centre, bringing you live men's and mixed netball. Today's game, mixed netball, 1v2 semi-final. Queensland to my right, Victoria to my left. It's been an amazing tournament for these two teams. They've shared the biscuits when they played each other. Both times, the result's been narrow. One win apiece. What will we see today? We're not sure. The winner of this game goes straight through the GF. The loser will have to play a game late tonight. Will be live streamed. The strengths for me... Lachlan Carter just there running around. He's a tall young lad. He'll probably play at keeper for this game. Michael Solomon, the GA for uh, sorry, the GS for Queensland, a big unit. He's going to be able to get the ball quite easily, and his percentage is well into the 90s. Victoria, they're a different side. Bit of a rebuild year for these guys. We've got Sophie O'Shea. She's back, uh, a former Australian player, and of course their midcourt is quite dynamic. So what they probably do is they'll run through the midcourt fast, hit it into their shooters, and hope to make it a bit of a shootout. Joining the commentary team today is Davin Hunt from Queensland, Matthew Blomley from Victoria. They'll be with you live in about two minutes. Welcome back to the Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Centre. My name's Dave Mills. Joining me in commentary, Davin Hunt, assistant coach, Queensland Suns. How's Morning. it going? Good afternoon, actually. It is afternoon, Dave. Good afternoon, 12.30 game coming up. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got a big game today, Dave. 1v2, Qu Victorian mixed team looking the goods versus the Queensland Open mixed team. Hillary Collins coach for the fourth year, looking for a first title. Great bunch of young lads. We know them pretty well, being both Queenslanders. I certainly do. Uh, um, yeah, no, they, um, they've been in and around the, the system for quite a while, these guys now. So, Excellent. What do you see the keys to this game, Dav? I can see um, a bit of quickness here through, through Shannon, Shannon, Shannon Taylor, the Queensland centre, using his uh, smarts that he has. Very, very experienced player. I think he'll be the key to this game, I believe. For me, it's a uh, Victorian shooter, Sophie O'Shea. If she lights up, she is a quality shooter. She's playing Victoria MNL, uh, whatever they call it down there, um, their state league. She's been around the system for a long time. Former Australian player. If she gets a lot of ball, um, then the Vicks will probably go quite well. As I said earlier in the introduction, we've got the coaching staff, uh, sorry, the commentary staff of Davin Hunt, and joining the team now is Matthew Blomley. So, Dav, if you could just take the reins for a little bit while we just change out, and we'll get Matthew no Blomley. No at all. Matthew, fresh from his success, has a 23s Victorian team. Half a shot coming up, beautiful. And lovely. As Dave said, uh, Sophie O'Shea, former Australian player, looks like she's uh, going to be one of the keys to their game today as well. Sort of a mid court press there. Got the big fella under the post there, nice. I'm just not quite sure what Queens, uh, what Victoria going to do with this Queensland goaler and Solomon. He's a tough target. Next hip's going to have to do work really hard to get around him. That's a terrific play there by Butler, working it in. The younger next hip brother in the circle, swinging the ball. He's got a lovely action on his shot, Corey next hip. From what I've seen so far, they're very nice players, very nice, great feet. Yeah, terrific feed. Get around the ball, go great vertical leaps. Wasn't a great feed in by Febo then. Queensland with the turnover. Evergreen, Shannon Taylor working the ball down the court. 
He is. The, I, I, I caught him as the key early. I thought he, I, he really needs to do all the work here today. Yeah, he is absolutely their key. I think he's very patient through attack and absolute workhorse Absolutely. in defence. And the combination in that attack line, Sammy Hurst and Shannon Taylor, very good combination together. They've worked together for Australia as well as Queensland. Victoria's certainly going to have to uh, get them, keep them well off the circle if they're going to have any uh, chance with uh, stopping the feeds into the big fella there. I would think that they should come off the one-on-one -on -one through that top of the circle with the way that they work. Maybe go for a bit of a switch up, cover the top of the, top of the circle a little bit more rather than try and just run in one and one because they're going to run those long lines and they're going to let that ball go as Solomon finishes with another goal there. Very even start. Very even. Victoria have started with each of those centre passes going to the right side of the court. Wonder whether they've got that as a particular tactic. <laughs> oh, it's a nice play. Terrific swing. Just stepped in on that jump there. And nice finish. Next hip's fired up by that. Oh, lovely, lovely take. take. Again, as I said, they probably need to look at swapping a little bit more through that top. They're very quick hands through. They're very patient in attack, Queensland. Yeah, nice pass off. And that is the pass off they will look for for most of the game. Solomon is their absolute key there. They're looking for him as a target. Good release by McDonald. O'Shea needs to finish here. Ooh. Uh, good hands over the ball in return. Queensland so good at that. They just yeah. release the ball out of defence. Yeah, nice pressure it was. It was good pressure. Oh, lovely pass. He's such, a, he's such an imposing figure in there that he, he draws the attention towards him. Yeah, no. Defenders. Both defenders, a bit sucked in there. I don't think they should try doubling back. Work on the one on one in the circle. Mm -hmm. You've got enough options. Dylan next hips, able to get around there. If they're doubling, I think that takes him out of the game a little bit. Probably could have gone straight through that rather than just going the one hand. Could have ripped that in. Terrific spot, nice. Solomon. And if he gets it under the post there, he doesn't miss many of those ones. Yeah. No, high percentage on the shimmy this season. I think um, Queensland have gone with a bit of uh, the quickness in defence here too, more so than uh, Lachlan Carter, who's on the bench at the moment. Yeah. Trying to match a bit of speed for speed here. Go for a bit of, bit of pace. Carter is more relied on as a keeper rather than a goal defence. So they've gone for the matchup, the girl on the girl, the guy on the guy. Sometimes that's a good ta target for it. And I think, well, it's, I think it can be good for both teams. I think that with Sophie being a shooter, I think they're looking to exploit that against the, uh, our keeper. Oh, got to finish that, yeah. even with a penalty. And does. As I said, that lovely wrist flick there. Nice action on that shot. Sneaky little contact there by Febo. <laughs> Don't mind a bit of that every now and then. Uh, it's uh, see what you can get away with until it uh, until they pull you back. Queensland so patient in attack. Work the ball until it's the right option. They give really good angles in attack as well. They are. They're using beautifully. Oh, look at that. That's nice. I don't think you can afford to give away the penalties for obstructions in the circle. Just giving them the easy shot under the post. Work hard, get a good distance there. Ah, oh, terrific work, Blatt. Great touch. She got good closing speed. Has a go at that ball, drives out hard as well. Oh, it's good ball pressure over here, guys. That's what they needed to do. Just try and stop that drive through the guts here. And straight back in the circle, Hillman. He's done well to get back in. A lot of pressure through the transverse at the top of the circle. Victoria's struggling to get it through at the moment. As Platt gets a bit of a contact, makes it a bit easier for Vic. Looking to finish here with O'Shea, and she, she does. does. When she's on, she's on as well. Very reliable golf shooter. But 
these connections are Queensland attack. I must say, I, even as a Victorian, I do love watching these guys in attack. <laughs> They've got some, they have, oh. A bit too much, probably put a bit too high after I've just bit, said how much I enjoyed <laughs> their attack. A bit over the back there too, not out in front as it should have been. Yeah, at very least need to just be on top rather than behind. To di He's a big man, it's hard to get him <laughs> to turn around that quickly. Looks like McDonald's managed to recover enough from knee injury she suffered earlier in the week. She's crucial to their defensive midcourt. Oh, terrific oh, give and go, but also wow. I like that attempt. It was a good attempt. She went the ball. It was just strong bodies. Taking a little bit to get up there, Febo, but she'll persevere. She's a tough nugget. Very nice. Oh, lovely feet, lovely feet. And finishes. And, yeah, nice. Terrific finish. Good. About the halfway point of the first quarter here. Queensland seven, Victoria four in the open mix. Are Victoria going to be able to answer this at the moment? Queensland seem to be getting the ball through a bit easier than Victoria just at this stage. But terrific ball in. That's what they've got to do. Nice feed by Dave Putler. Been very solid by both sides. Good start by both teams at this. I yeah, think both coaches would be very happy with what they're seeing. I think so. At this point, it's still very close. The Queensland attack, keeping that patience, even with the contact. A lot of work happening in that defense side. Well done, oh, nice. Dylan Nexit. Oh, unfortunately gets the contact call. He's not happy about it, but I think maybe just caught a bit on the offside of the umpire there. But you take the good with the bad with some of those. <laughs> They're not always going to see it. And as a defender, you just keep going. <laughs> a 50-50 call when hopefully it goes your way when it's, uh, when it's the crunch time of the game. Exactly right. Michael Solomon, nice finish there again. They're taking advantage of each of the penalties here, Queensland. Oh, well oh, read. That is terrific by Shannon Benson. It's Gee. a lovely drive. This thing, Queensland doing well. Their transition ball is terrific. Even when they get slowed up further up the court. Oh, both there. Well, uh, probably a quick held ball there, but there weren't many options for Queensland, so that was good defense by Victoria. Again, where are our options? Oh, and that's a great read. When your wing defense and goal defense are both driving on top of each other, you've got to have something else. Terrific feed in. Sammy Hurst. Nice shot. She just knows how to find Solomon. Very a rarely a bad pass that comes off her hands towards him, I'd say. Oh, she's an absolute worker in wing attack. She just keeps going and going and going, and that release to him, generally perfect. He's gone for the mismatch there other than the, the easier oh, shot. Oh, terrific rebound. And that's what you've got to do as defenders. With a big guy like that, if he's going to miss any shot, you've got to get that one rebound. And you've got convert. one opportunity to get it. That's the only chance you get. Again, Victoria a bit stagnant bringing out defense. Their transition, not quite as good. I'd like to see them really attacking the ball. Good by Febo. She's got to finish that lead, though. The last three or four minutes, but I think Queensland have been a bit tougher towards it and going through it. Yeah. They're really keeping the pressure on, making... Victoria accountable for every ball she got to do. Bit far out for O'Shea. She looks to refeed. Looks good. Ah, oh, terrific shot. Beautiful arc on that shot. But also a great jump by Luke Hillman in goal defense. Really made that ball have to go up in the air. Oh, he's got some, he's got some lo lovely elevation. And that's possibly what they've looked for, Queensland. They've gone, let's go for a bit of elevation. Someone who can run the ball through the court. Lucky Carter was, he can still jump more for that tall target through there. That's a great contest oh. there. Great contest. Coach will be very happy with going the outside arm, not going the body too much. Oh, not quite oh. fifth, picks up the rebound. Bit of miscommunication by Queensland. A little touch from O'Shea there, but just hits off the post. If in doubt, try and get a hand in there. You never <laughs> exactly know. Exactly right. Sammy up. That's that other hand that you were just talking about then, the outside hand that was inside that time. Yep. Well, that was a little bit late by next hit then. Shannon Taylor, though, 
Just gets on with it as he always does. Terrific finish by Solomon there. Taylor absolutely unfazed by that knock. Up back defending straight away. Oh, isn't Platt having a oh. ripper so far this quarter? She's coming out to every ball. Tell you what, you've got to finish a lead around her. Keeping that pressure across the transverse once again. Just make him work. Oh, wow. She's wow. got to look at that shot. Sophie O'Shea, you can shoot the long ball. And I think that's what Victoria needs. A bit of extra. Wow, the Back your shot. Have a bit of confidence. A lot of pressure there. A lot of pressure being applied. Spot on. There's a lot of pressure coming through. Oh, wow. That's just a great lead. And look at, look at the space, just driving the space. it through. Oh, Shannon Taylor managed to keep his toes on side somehow. That's hard to do. It is very hard That's to hard do. That's hard to do. Knocking Michael Solomon <laughs> over. It takes a fair knock, fair knock. We're going to have to go for the towel. I think they're going to need a couple of towels there. <laughs> no, Marky Solomon. There's probably a little bit of sweat coming there. Will make it difficult for the next players if they don't wipe it up. <laughs> He's hit the shot. Oh, just spins in. Just spins around. Oh. That's right. Wasn't quite sure initially, but there it was. Oh, she kept going on that lead. I thought she was going to be a bit short then, but no, kept going. Good pressure by McDonald then. Maybe a sneaky hand in the back, but tell you what, she kept the pressure on. She got her hand to the other ball. Bit of a wry smile from Shannon. And that's one of the things I like about him as a player. He just gets on to it, doesn't agree with the call. He just has a bit of a smile and goes, fair enough. I think that was Platt again down there with the defensive work. Ah, oh, she's been terrific. And just seeing these connections through court, you can see that they've played together. Mm -hmm. Good space. Really built on that across a number of games. And Solomon's finishing off terrifically. Mm. He held the space nicely there for the, pack, for the pass. He's given a real clear target. Not sure what Victoria's answer is going to be here. Whether they bring on Andrew Lewis, who's been doing terrifically for him in defence, and just give that taller body, maybe to force the ball up a little bit more. Oh, wow. Good coverage down the line then. Stop the lead. Now, Victoria need to score here. There's just over a minute to go. They need to put themselves back in the game. Four goals out at the moment. You want to just close that gap slightly. That's a nice hold. Oh, terrific yeah, shot, shot, O'Shea. She claps the team, implores them to get going again. You want to try and get a stop here, I'd say, Victoria. Get another goal. Just a bit of momentum going into the break. Yeah, with 100 minutes to go, if they get this, uh, get this goal, stays at four then you've got to uh, make sure you score on your next centre pass then to keep it even. Oh, got to put up that shot. But maybe they're trying to run down the clock a little bit here. Maybe. Maybe. Bit of patience. Try and just run down a bit and then force Victoria then to have to play out with not long to go. There are some smart oh, players lovely, there. Lovely, lovely. Yep. Opens beautifully. Big shot here, short. Oh. Good hands by next hip then. Just delays it a bit longer. Solomon couldn't pull it in. Ah, oh, well read once yeah. again. So now time is a bit of a factor here. I think there's less than 10 seconds to go. They're, they've delayed this well, Victoria. They've just done enough getting hands to it. Not doing anything that, unfortunately. Might have a Probably not the best timing for a penalty there. But it is a long shot. Yeah. Uh, but you can't afford that penalty under the post. There can't be long to go now. More time than I thought. Solomon just steps it up, finishes well. And Victoria's centre. Oh, the, that delay's probably worked well. Are they going to get released? Don't draw a penalty here, Queensland. You want to stay in it. Stay in the play. Oh, can't quite get the shot off in time. So, terrific first quarter here. Queensland absolutely in control, but Victoria not out of it. Probably just need a little bit more in attack. Get the positive voice up. Need to slow up that through the defensive side. We are at 13-9 at the break. We'll be back after these messages.
Welcome back to the 33rd annual Men's and Mixed Netball Nationals. This is the quarter time break of the Queensland and Victoria Mixed semi final. Score currently 13 9. What do you think that's going to be the key here for Queensland to maintain this lead? I think that they just need to con give consistently good ball right through to, uh, to Mick Solomon. I think if he's the. Um if he's the, uh, he, he's also a, a definite key there if they can just keep giving him good ball. Um, at the moment, they're using his size and his accuracy because I think he's only missed one goal, I think, from, from the first quarter. Victoria are doing well to stay in the game at the moment. What, what do you think is going to be the difference for them coming through here? I just think they just need to use their quickness. Um, they're lovely players. Have they made, I think they've made a change from uh, centre to... Wing attack here, so... Yep, Dave Butler's moved from centre to wing attack. Has Al McDonald from wing defence to centre. And yep. then we've also had Jess, whose name escapes me just for the moment. I'm doing really well. Jess Maher has come on into wing defence. Gives him a bit of a taller player through the wing defence there. Maybe just trying to do a bit more at the defensive line as Sophie O'Shea finishes well. After the delay in play from Queensland, a bit slow coming on court. Sometimes coaches get a bit excited at, during these finals and keep them a bit long. Now, of course, you can keep track of all of our results following our Instagram on Australian Men's Netball. Follow that. Pop in, follow. Get it. Hashtag going. There's all the results and there's a couple of photos from the games. And, of course, you can jump on the Facebook as well. Terrific feed, O'Shea, into next hip. Nice hold there by Hillman. Got a great shot. Uh, it was a terrific hands over it. Next hip getting fired up each time he hits those guys. I don't mind a goal that gets fired up by that. <laughs> It's a good start by uh, Victoria. They've come out hard, broken, and scored. So, you know, they've brought the game back from four to two. Yeah, the changes seem to be working for them at the moment. Bit too much on that feed. They've just got to settle again. Queensland haven't made any changes, but I'm not sure they need to just yet. No, I think they were fine with the, with the quarter they produced there. That pass to um, Mick Solomon, I think, needs to be a bit more of a, a bit of a loop. That was a bit flat, too hard. Yeah, it went a bit too far from him. It wasn't quite where he wanted it. Now, Victoria looking at going three in a row here, which Queensland really needed a stop on. But terrific ball. Thing. That's three in a row for Victoria with the centre pass right back in it here. The changes have paid dividends for Coach Jared Walker. Butler so patient as a wing attack. Doesn't look That's like he's working ha hard, but geez, he just times things well. I think that um, it was, it's Laura Platt, she had a fantastic first quarter on, the, uh, on their uh, wing attack. This seems to be uh, very early stages, but a good change so far. Yeah, it has worked for Victoria. Platt hasn't quite worked out what Butler's doing. She's doing well at going with him, and I think that mismatch could still work in Queensland's favour. Platt, she has a go at the ball, cleanly for the most part. She's not afraid to body up at times. As you can see there, she tries to get around. But terrific nice feed, feed into the hold of next. Lovely hit. feed. And he finishes. That's four in a row at the start of this quarter. That puts us back to even. 13 goals all. Queensland will look to answer with their centre pass. Oh, they got to the circle. That's where they want it. Ooh. Ooh. Just changed the body angle on the feed there slightly. Hurst went to give it where she was initially. She's then taken a step off, hit her leg. Probably just need to keep some eyes on that. A bit of miscommunication. But here's a chance for Victoria to be absolutely dominating the start of this quarter. Ah, oh, oh, terrific offload. Can't quite finish next hit. Nice it's little touch there by O'Shea. Yeah, just get it through to, that's all we gotta do sometimes, just get an extra hand. They've got the throw in here, Victoria. Butler holds well. Oh, nice peel off. Well, falling short a bit in exit. And finishes. He's got his own rebound, that's fine. <laughs> Not happy with himself. But it does put them up with the centre pass. Good take, Dave Butler. But Platt, she still makes you work for it. Well, would have liked seeing that drive hit the circle. There's no one. Oh, that's a great terrific oh, work, oh, Fantastic. Man. What a little flip back, too. Came on top of the body cleanly, did not touch them. Oh. That is a terrific defense. piece of work. Oh, he's looking a bit sore, though. Interesting here. 
He doesn't really want to call time. No, I think he just maybe a little bit winded from I that so. contest. Tough and, when you. And nowadays, especially, you can't call time on <laughs> that. You're going to be coming off, and he's doing terrific work. Down nice there. work. Looks like he's gutting it out. Yeah. Get, get the chest up, take a couple of deep breaths in. That's the way. And Solomon nice. finishes. That's the answer they've needed, Queensland. And I'll tell you what, Hillman, that's enough to aspire a team, that sort of intercept. Really gets your attack line going. They're firing up. Patience once again. Just got to work it. Oh. oh. Even though the obstruction was called, wow. that was a magnificent pass, Shannon Taylor. He's so patient for so long, and then he can bring that absolute magic. Terrific right vision. Head. Bit of a head clash between the two boys, both rubbing the back. That shows Shannon Taylor's experience there. Former open men's player before he moved across the mix. Good. He knows oh. how to play. Good rebound. Oh, Solomon. Ooh. Not quite. Didn't quite have the flick he wanted. But gives Victoria the ball. Oh, nice drive through. Queensland needs to lift here. They um, haven't matched the intensity of uh, Victoria as they come out after the quarter break here. No, they haven't quite answered the changes. We need a bit more like what Hillman did just before, but probably need that back through the court again. Nice so, feed. That's a nice hole by next hit. Butler just placed it over. And good finish. Good finish. That's enough to put them up again, Victoria. With the centre pass. Oh, just a oh, bit too wow. much on it. Probably closed the angle off a bit too much there, Sophie O'Shea. Butler trying to get it into it despite that Queensland come up with the ball. Oh, that is absolutely... Oh, gets called a steppy, but how magnificent wow. was that? <laughs> to use a Bruce McAvaney line there, unfortunately. Magnificent. Bit late then on that contest, but he's had a good crack. Oh, Sammy Hurst, that's a drive we want from you. That's a great drive. There it is. Oh, Needs to fix the dress after that one. <laughs> There's some good hops through there. She, she does that terrifically. Hold the space. Ooh. Now McDonald, sneaky little offside there. Just slows it up a little bit. Makes well, Queensland have to set up something different. I thought Mick had some nice space to hold there. I thought that was a would have been a nice little drop over pass. Yeah, and I think had they had Latu had played with them last year, in, it probably would have gone in because she would have done that last minute. Of but a bit more patient through here. Yep, it looks like a bit of a push-off. He does it every now and then, Solomon. And so you take that wing and get away with it. Fortunately, he just gets on with it oh. straight into it. Oh, nice feet by O'Shea. Lovely feet down there. Next hip doesn't want the shot. Would have been nice for his team to go to post there. He can do that range, but O'Shea okay. finishes off adequately. Turning into a uh, goal for goal quarter here now. And defensive pressures picked up from Victoria through this centre third. Yeah, Wasn't just, quite there in that first Just one. released it out then. That's, That's a good ball. ball, Shannon Taylor. Solomon moves off well. Next hip couldn't do much with it. He had a good attempt, but it was perfectly placed. That's the one Mikey Solomon wants to finish with. Probably a bit disappointed with his miss earlier. He doesn't like to miss too many, like most goalers. We're getting much better drives through from the Victorian defenders. Really giving a better option. That's something they lacked early. And we swing the ball, looking for a set up here from the goals. Oh, it's a lovely little uh, give and go refeed. Well, probably just going to be flat on the shot. She needs to push that up again. Next hit finishes though. Two goals to the Victorians. Queensland need to. Make sure that they capitalise on the centre passes once again and look for a turnover. That's not the one, though. Good sneaky hands. That's all you need. A little tap, but good support from the attackers. Platt struggling a little bit with Dave Butler yet. Hasn't quite worked out his number. And he just finishes his drive so well. I think David's speed this quarter so far has been the extra little factor so far that Laura has not been able to... Well. Not be, she's able to keep up with him, but not been able to get in front as she was in the first quarter. Yeah, I think with Dave Butler, he's going with her at the same pace initially, but then he just does that last step. He's got that little, that little quick step. Former New Zealand national Dave Butler. Certainly an experienced player, and I think that's that experience coming through at times. Oh, they're, oh, starting to find their, they're starting to find their range now. Yeah, much better quarter from the Victorians here. We need the Queensland to answer, though. What are they going to do? 
Oh, another good touch there. Now Tokarua probably needs to give a little bit more in a goal attack this quarter. She hasn't put up the shots this quarter like she did last. She needs to have confidence in there. No, I, I, she hasn't been that that factor that she was in the first mm. quarter compared to She was one. sweeping really well, but she was also putting up some shots. That's what you need from a goal attack when you've got the solid male in goals in shooter. You need a goal attack that's going to still participate. Oh, he's called. Cool. Oh, no, shoes come off a little bit. That's what it, okay. I thought. He's gone, I'm by a shoe. My shoe's not quite on. Need to slip it back on. Oh, the umpire said no, he's called time for injury. Which is incorrect. No, he's signaling time for the shoe coming off. Maybe a bit of miscommunication. Maybe she didn't realise what he called time for. She said it's an injury time. Take advantage of it, Queensland. Once, once the, and once the, the next goal scored, we get tackle uh, Oh, my logical thing would have been to do then from a player is just tell Lockie Dean your wing tackle. It's just come on. Say, if you want Dave Butler to stay on, just tell Lockie Dean to make an injury time straight away. You don't need to do a change. Or alternative, their alternative was he could have sat off for that moment for until the next break. And, and he, he has called, yeah. uh, rear tech's called the time. Yeah. They gave him a chance. I think it's a wide move keeping I, Butler on at the moment. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. And, and, I, and we, we saw what it was going to be for for the shoe. So, I don't have an issue with that. No, absolutely. Oh, Sammy Hurst just sneaks the foot across the line. Was picked up. But maybe she got there with a little bit of physicality. But you take advantage of that. And you're going to get some hits here. Oh, these, these drives are struggling on that initial drive from Victorians. They're just waiting for someone else to make the move. Once they've done that, though, the release is on. A lot oh, of sideline play. Pass, yeah, they're not, that, that, those, that passage just seems to be down the sideline here. I think uh, Victoria need to get back to the middle. Yeah. Just a quick transverse ball, a bit of a lateral ball, then look at penetrating through. Because that long ball is on. A terrific oh, speed. That's a lovely roll away. Oh, pops it over beautifully. Just catches Hillman in behind next hip there. Oh, bit off balance on the shot though. He's not happy with himself with that. And we do have a four goal difference now. And I think that's been all Victoria this quarter with three minutes to go. Queensland do need to answer this. I think they're capable of it. They've just got to communicate. Shannon Taylor wraps that up. Sneaky little bat. He was uh, lucky to get to that. He was. Um, it was a bad pass in the end. She's got to look at putting this shot up. Oh, that's a good offload. I, yep. I, after I've said that, that is a good offload. <laughs> They've drawn the penalty, Solomon finishes. If you can get that one into the shooter, I'm okay with that. But I would like to see her go post a little bit more. Good hands by Hillman again. So with two minutes to go in this quarter, Queensland, if they can just turn one little defensive turnover here, get their pressure up. I tell you, all the they need. Back. It's all they need. Two, it's all and they're need. going into the halftime break right. with a bit more confidence from the end of the right. quarter. Potentially, potentially down to a one point game again. Ooh, no. Shannon Taylor with a nice touch. Platt working hard to make it hard for there for McDonald. Just saying, look, I'm not going to give you this easy feed. Hillman hasn't been as effective this quarter, oh. I don't think, on next hit. It's been a great rebound. That was a fantastic read. Ooh. This gives himself a few extra shots, just working out the rebound stats, saying, <laughs> coach, put me down for another rebound there. Hillman, although he's taken a couple of good ones, inside the circle, he's let next hip just set up where he wants. I'd like to see him getting around and actually having a great up. Uh, well done to Dylan next hip there. I think he's just getting a bit out of body position in there for the, for the rebound. I think he needs to body up there. Me personally, every shot is a potential miss. Yeah, as soon as, that there. as soon as that ball's gone in the air, turn and find the body. They're letting them get that easy one through. Victoria pushing out this lead near the end of the break. Just over a minute to go. A look at scoring at least one more here. Good swing. McDonald in the pocket. Got the mismatch. Oh, bit too much on but Butler but does got clean up. Got away with it. And it's oh. finished by next hip. Bit too much by, on that ball by McDonald, but tell you what, they're all over it. 
Queensland will want to score here. You've got to finish strong. Nice take, That's Mikey fast. Solomon. Good settler there. They needed that one. Another turnover there might have been very costly coming uh, into the half time. We've still got a little while to go. Our clock doesn't allow for the injury time there, unfortunately. But Victoria, patient. They're just working the ball down as O'Shea looks to go to post. A bit too much on it, but gets the rebound. Wait, so the jump offload. Oh, there was heat on that ball. Next hit, didn't know what was happening. <laughs> It spins around his head. He does a pirouette. Gets, still picks up the ball. <laughs> so much heat on the ball. Bit of, a fal bit of a falcon, we call oh. it. Uh, Shay just gives a little apology. He says, sorry, mate. <laughs> bit too much on it. Queensland need to get this one in. They need to capitalise on this to bring it in. Ah, oh, oh, lovely. Next lovely hit falls fight. for the swing attempt. And then Solomon just opens up. Taylor just lets it go nicely. And just caught a bit off guard there, but it is hard with a big body that. He was trying to do the right thing again around for this ball gets swung. Time, time is going to be a factor potentially on this Victorian possession. Oh. 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 I thought terrific job there, Platt. Wow. Almost got it. That's the Platt we've wanted to see this quarter. Wow. She hasn't been there with that quite so much. Beautiful ball in by Butler to next hit. He holds beautifully yeah, and hold finishes. Yep. As the umpire wow. stands up to blow the time. It was a fantastic quarter by Victoria there. It was made a fantastic some, quarter. Made some very necessary adjustments because they were uh, they were lagging that first quarter, but that second quarter has brought them right back through and in our head. I'd say that was all Victoria's quarter as we go into the break. 25-19. Victoria, terrific quarter. We've got Queensland with the ball in the next break, and we'll just go to some ads.
welcome back to the 33, 33rd even Australian men's and mixed netball nationals. I'm Matthew Blomley. I'm a bit worried about what Queensland are going to produce this quarter. up. What do you think? Well, I, I've seen they've got some tactical changes coming up. I can see that uh, Luke Hillman has come off. They are bringing on some extra height in the defensive end. Lachlan Carter is coming on as goalkeeper. And, uh, and they have made another change in the goal attack, which we were alluding to earlier in that second quarter where Alorna just, we thought, had gone off away from what she was doing in the, uh, in the first quarter. Yeah. They've made another cha tactical change there. She probably wasn't given quite enough in the attack line there, so they've gone for it with fresh legs. Michelle Newgrosh on in there. She played Australia A mixed a few years ago in South Africa. Probably looking to just give a bit more foot speed through there. They've also obviously made the change here as we see the tall in Lockie Carter come on into goalkeeper. That but gives them a taller option. But also the Vic team's made some um, some very good cha well, some changes as well. They've taken their whole attack end off, goal attack, goal shooter, and are going for a new a new passage here with these yeah. guys. They've brought on Libby Nickel into goal shooter. She's played Tasmanian Magpies for a and l So it. she's in a little bit of form, and I think they're working for the particular combinations as New Grosh opens beautifully. Probably need to still look for that shot despite the hands being on. Back yourself on that first one. You're fresh on the court. Especially with Lewis having that great front position there. That was yep. going to be a tough pass to make in any day. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Solomon, beautiful split. But a bit, maybe a bit of a long shot for him. Wasn't quite ready for it. The early nerves in that Queensland attack line. Oh, wow. Nice little touch there from Hurst. Still 25, 19 as we open up. This third quarter. Butler's coming up very high for that connection. Oh, Lockie. Nice. Oh, wow. Terrific work, Lockie Carter. Good front position. Had the, had the hand out stretched. Got the touch, but it came off the hand as well. Yeah, I think it was a bit of an early lead by Libby Nickel there. That allowed it to get sideline. Allowed him to have a go at that. And he just went with her the whole way. Perfect hands. Oh, oh, and got it back. Wow. How that managed to go back to a Queensland <laughs> player, I'm not sure, but... Oh, that's a great touch. Flat, great touch. Oh, Lewis already made it. Good effort down there. That change is paying dividends for Coach Sherrod Walker. Yeah, she's certainly gone for just a touch more height there. And in the first two Queensland possessions, two touches to Lewis already. Ah, oh, Sammy Hurst fights for that ball. Gets a good tap on it. That's what you need to do. Any loose ball, you want to be on top of it. And again, and again. Any sideline ball there, wow. all over at the Queensland Suns. Oh, relieving penalty. Yeah. It's a relieving penalty. They just built some good pressure in the last 30 seconds there. Yeah, probably, probably didn't need to get that. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Oh. From our angle, a bit hard to tell what point she took that ball, but <laughs> it would have been magnificent if you'd been able to pull that off. Oh, Lockie, you got to get this. Oh, Nickel tries getting away with maybe getting the second shot if she was going to miss. But back to herself going to post. Victoria with an early goal here. This is what they want. Gives this Great goal drive. in combination a chance to settle. Nickel up the middle. That's a trademark drive for her. She loves that middle drive, but Butler's so patient. Oh, that's possession. Did he get... Yeah, he has called the possession, but Ooh, called it the other way. The other way. It's well. gone to El McDonald. Oh, sometimes Very close. we may have a Very different close. angle on the ball than the umpire, so we have to go with what they're saying. Nickel takes a breath. Lockie Carter, terrific. Gets the ball on the way up. And that change is already working for them there. Maybe put a bit of doubt in those goalers' minds. With the rule change that came in, we were a bit skeptical about seeing in the men's and mix how much of that ball would still get blocked at the post. But tell you what, a number of these defenders, they learn to get it on the way up they're, still at that they're point. They're still meeting it. They're still meeting it before it gets on that downward on that downward arc. Which I love seeing. Oh, it's on, good. If you can get it on the way up, take that any day of the week. I do think it's a bit lazier when it's on the way down. <laughs> Says me, oh. all five foot nine men who can't get up that high anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, I certainly wasn't playing above the rim, so... <laughs> Something I just don't know. Oh, nice drive, McDonald. Needs to settle her feet. That's a few now that she's got a bit off her feet. Probably just needs to settle, but that could be that knee that she's a bit there conscious of. It, it was a great little read there. Platt has come out fired up this quarter, hasn't she? That's a plat we saw first quarter. That's a plat we want for the rest of the game, because that'll make this such a good contest between her and Butler. 
Lucky Dean looking at the screen, turns fantastic, perfectly. Fantastic pass. Fantastic pass. Good I finish. thought it was going to come in maybe a smidge too early. Maybe he wasn't quite ready, but he was all over it. He's a terrific goal attack, Lockie Dean. Formerly from South Australia, been living in Victoria for a few years now. Providing a good option for our mixed tech. Yes, yeah, nice. Just keep that contest. contest. I like a good tenacious wing defence. <laughs> oh, it's going to be Lockie an easy pass. Carter. Well done. Shannon Taylor was all over was, that before that. He had the Lockie Carter wanted the glory. Let the goalkeeper have the glory. It gives him some confidence. <laughs> That's a great pass. Nice hold by Lewis there. Just provides a bit more height. I think maybe they've looked at getting a bit more hands over the ball down there as well. Been a bit more pressure on the shot, and it, it has worked for them. I've noticed that he is just probably a smidge further out than he was been for the last first, first two quarters. I think he's maybe half a foot. And maybe Lewis is pushing him out a little bit more. Whereas Nexip was trying to get around the body to have a go, which was working at times. Maybe Lewis is trying to outbody. body. Oh, oh but that rebound and manages to offload well. It's just that last line. You've got you've got one opportunity in this in this at this level. One opportunity. You've got to get that rebound on that miss shot. And you think with the height of Lockie Carter there, you should get most of them. But the score. It's not reflecting the way Queensland's come out this quarter, I don't think, so far. That could be no. the changes that have occurred. Oh, good they, hands. They've made slight inroads, but they haven't been able to capitalise. I think that's the, uh, that's the big thing so far. And I think once the score starts coming out a little bit, nine, ten goals, what you've got to do is you've got to just set yourself target for the quarter. Look at working those back, goal by goal, work it back to five, work it back to four, six. Exactly right. One of those options that just keeps you in it, Solomon finishes it's, there. It's, a, it's two turnovers, two turnovers, it's a six, it's a ten point game, I know two turnovers gets it back to a reasonable, and you might be able to get one, one more after that. And in a full hour game, those 15 minute quarters, oh, there is plenty of time to come back. 25 minutes of play left. We've it's seen that in a number of games this tournament as well, we saw it earlier in the 20s semi-final, where New South Wales are up by around 10, Victoria came back on them, New South Wales able to get the win there, but it just shows you can't ever give up. Lucky Carter caught out of position there. I think he tried to, uh, after the first attempt. Oh, Lewis a bit over the top. First attempt had it, but he needs really to turn and box on, on those as well, get that rebound. And that's what we discussed earlier amongst ourselves about Lockie Carter's footwork. It's not always as sharp as maybe Hillman, but they have got him there for the height and the jump. Oh, nice attempt there. Well, Hurst just keeping them honest there. Al McDonald has been good for oh, Victorian Centre. Couple of balls though, maybe a bit too much on it. Maybe she's just releasing at the wrong point. But she is working really hard. Oh, good oh, That's hands. a lovely touch. Um, and the umpire right. seemed to signal a bit both ways, but maybe she should just point it at the line and say, hey, it was there. But a good contest there from, from Vic on that pass. And speaking of good contests, I am looking forward to the broadcast of the game coming up later today, the Open Men's. We've got Victorian Queensland, I believe, in the Open Men's. Should be, be a cracking match. There's Victoria coming off a bit of a loss last night, which is uh, going to make it um, an interesting interesting for, uh, for them against Vic, because we split both games. So I think it's anyone's today. I think it is absolutely anyone. Knowing Christina Puopolo, I had her as a coach myself previously, she will be absolutely rallying the troops to try and get them fired up again. Oh, you're just looking for you need trying to get that extra game away from the in the uh, prelim finals. Or that is it, and especially in open men's, it's a physical contest. If you can give your boys a break, you want to take word, advantage of it. As we get 30-22, Queensland have been able to score a couple more now. It's a patient attack has started to come back for them. That's all they need, Queensland here. Patient attack. Wait for the ball to come through. Lovely. That's it. And that's the thing I think people forget about Mikey Solomon there is, yes, he's a physical target. He's a big guy. He can pop and make that last-minute move it's really a quickly. Pop out. And the timing from Shannon is is pretty much on pristine. On, on part, you time. rarely see Shannon throw a ball away as Laura Platt once again gets good hands. Unfortunately, McDonald and bit of a contest there that didn't allow Shannon Taylor to get it. Oh, Lockie Carter. Lockie Carter and oh. yes. Beautiful, mate. That's, that's Slight a really spastic foul there. That is beautiful. <laughs> it was a great read. Outside hand. And that's what you get from some of these big guys. They're a little bit awkward at times, but don't mistake that for the skill level that they do have. Oh, they can nice still read the ball well. 
That was a, a bit nice, off balance there, Solomon. It was a nice little out fake there just to keep uh, Pitt to keep out of play there. And that's something we haven't seen a lot from Solomon this game that he does use, where he does sell the ball out. A number of men over in men's netball over the years have used that. Chris Carroll was a perfect example of that for Victoria Opens for a number of years, and the number of people that still fall for it. Ricky Lake is another great one who did <laughs> yeah. reverse pivot. Yes. Both of them, sweetest shooters I've probably seen. Solomon doesn't mind in his game at times, but that's probably one of the only ones who have seen this game. Maybe throw that in there a few times. Get Andrew Lewis's keeper a bit costly. off the head. Costly break there, Queensland needed to capitalise. No, that's a, it's a massive, massive break. And when you've got the closing speed of these attackers, there's no need to be breaking there. Give yourself some space in the right line. Set each other up for something. Ah, oh, Platt's and wanting to get the ball moving quickly. It's good. She connects so well with Sammy Hurst. It was a great little touch there by Lockie Carter. Came through, outside hand. And that's oh, what you that. need from him. That's right. It's just getting the touch on the ball. They're on the loose balls as Solomon finishes. Getting a few longer range shots now. Got a bit of confidence on it. It's just so under five minutes to go now. And they've got that back to that five that I said. Queensland have rallied here in the last five. They've lifted the pressure. It'll be interesting to see how Victoria answer this. They've got to keep the goals coming on. So you've got to go, just go rebound there. That's all. And that's it. Lockie Dean, probably a bit longer shot than he would have liked at this point in the game. Needs to shoot himself back into some confidence. Tries getting defensive side of it. Shannon here. Look, Shannon's trying to get this. They know they're under a bit of pressure here. I think if he can just keep this control. That's a great touch. That is. That's a fantastic touch. And terrific support by Andrew Lewis and yes. keeper there. And that's what you want from your team if you're coaching them. You're saying... We're going to get a touch on that ball. Someone be on that loose one in support. It's a critical turnover too there for them. They were just starting to get a bit of momentum there. Now, Queensland need to be a bit tighter here. Want another turnover. Oh, Lockie Lock Carter. Carter. Oh, oh, the Falcon. Shannon Taylor. Shannon's <laughs> copped it not fair ready for in the, the face. noggin. Lockie Carter is having a ripper as he's coming out of the circle. At, oh, he can't quite get, get his arm out of there. Go and play. Oh, I like that call yeah, from yep. Stuart Ting, the umpire there. He said, look, his arm's in there, but he's trying to get it out. It's not really a contact. He's not interfering. He's trying to get it out. I don't mind that call in our divisions. This is terrific. Oh, Platt looking for something. Shannon a bit slow on his feet on this one. Maybe that shock to the face. Oh, it's a nice bit hold. Too much for him. It's a great hold by Solomon there. Need a turnover here, Queensland. Victoria looking to keep the, that lead going. Platt just caught a little bit out with the arm. I'd like to see Lockie have a go at this pocket ball if it comes. I don't think um, I don't think Butler's been as dominant this quarter. No, with, I with, would agree with you there. I think I Platt think stepped up her he game has. again. She's gone. You know what? I've got to go. This Making him accountable. Contesting. A nice yeah, hold. That's a great pass. He's placed those balls into the goal. It's so beautiful. But Platt. She's made him accountable. She's made sure he's not getting as much touch, which means he can't get that feed in. As they're out to six goals, Queensland wanting the ball. The contact call six, does come. Yeah, that's that six five, six five goals at the moment. One, one turnover here and a capitalisation. That's Which all they've got to do. Makes things a bit tighter. Good swing. A Maybe wants to hold there. that a bit longer though. Hurst. I think she held that space. McDonald would have had to go on through the body there. Exactly. I think. Oh, great oh Lewis. He, He's having a red hot crack. Victoria, a much better at releasing that ball out now. Oh, that oh. full control. Libby Nickel wow. keeps it in. Great, great hands and great feet. He could have quite easily lost control of that ball completely, Butler. Nickel not happy to take that long shot there. But Lockie Dean, he just pops through so beautifully on that baseline. Nothing but net. Look at that Nothing arc in that shot. There, yes. Fantastic shot there by Dean. They need to turn over here again, Queensland. We've said that a couple of times, but this is really important going into the break. We've got just over a minute and a half to go. Oh. They've got to keep it going. Keep the pressure on. Look to get a turnover and then score on their own. Lockie Carter probably gets a bit caught on the mismatch there when it's the turn and rebound. Lockie Dean. Yep. You can't quite get around there. Probably need a bit more from Ben Steen in goal defence. Yeah, these are critical turnovers now. If they get one... This is where Shannon and Hurst really have to step up and make them count. Yeah, use that combination they've had for a couple of years now. Like, 
They're an experienced combination. Yeah. I'm not sure they're using it quite Goal to their advantage. Get, goal attack's getting caught there. You've got to move. Michelle Newgrosh needs to look for the shot there. Back herself. She's a lovely shot, That's as you've shown. Nice. She's a nice, patient goaler. She's got to make herself accountable out there too. Give yeah, she do. And she can put up the long shots. I've had the pleasure of coaching her in South Africa. Wow. Okay. And I tell you what, she can really turn a game as a goal attack if she's given the opportunity. Maybe they've given a bit too much focus to Solomon on the ball, but let her have the chance. Oh, that's a nice little read by Lockie. Saw the drive coming across, stepped in, played for it well as well. Let Nickel <laughs> know he was there. So there's that turnover we were just talking about. Under a minute Great to go. Drive. We're maybe only about 20 seconds to go. Queensland need to score here. They want to get it back to six. And if they score, I think they send a pass as next two. So maybe so look at a release. But patient, oh, oh no. just misread on Chantelli. I'd like to see them get back on D though. You do not want Victoria scoring here. Oh, oh wow. great it's ball. Great just drew both, both defenders to Libby Nicol. Oh. Doesn't get the Does goal not loft. Count, I believe. Does Ooh. not get the goal wow. loft. So that keeps it at 34-27. Victoria's way going into the last break. This could be a very interesting last quarter. We'll just throw to our sponsors. Wow, that last goal. Thank you. Go on straight for the mustache. Beautiful. Welcome back to the fourth quarter. About to start of the open mix semi-final at the 33rd annual men's and mixed netball nationals. It's 34-27. Victoria's way. What do you think is going to be the difference this last quarter? It's been so tight. They fought back Queensland. They made really good tactical changes at halftime for that. But actually, didn't actually stay on the scoreboard. They actually lost the quarter by one. But I, what I thought they did was good, and I thought they would have kept with it. But they've uh, actually made another tactical change here and brought a bit more height into the shooting circle here. Now, I thought Lockie Carter was terrific, oh, a was goalkeeper then. He did lose Lachlan Dean, the goal attack, a few times. But I just thought the way he was reading the ball outside the circle, the tips, the rebounds, terrific. But now they're using him as a target in goals. Maybe a bit taller target just to draw some more attention away. But we've had a change in goal attack as well and it's worked so far. That was a critical turnover, that last uh, possession from Queensland before the uh, before the break. That would have been uh, their centre pass coming out. As Lucky Dean just goes to the post, finishes with a nice close shot. 35-28. Victoria's weight. 
I just want to see this connection between Hurst and Taylor lift again. It just it nice seemed impression. to lose a bit of focus for a while. As we draw a contact on, maybe it was obstruction, sorry, on the edge of the circle. Lucky Carter, nice take, just balance. Oh, oh goes for the layup, goes for the layup. Probably not as good on the set shot, Lucky Carter there, know, but doesn't uh, mind a lap. He can pretty much place <laughs> it in when you're that tall. Yes. The range is not where he likes to be, but can finish it. That's good. And that, that may be the key here for Queensland, is that a bit of extra height. Will Andrew Lewis be able to get up to that as a goalkeeper? I'm not quite sure. Hillman's got a good jump, good it's second rebound, jump there, good the pressure. Rebound, but it's got to be on those rebounds, Queensland. It's the rebound. Oh, good. Uh, wow. Look, he is having a crack. I think he's been given the instructions. You've got to have a go at the ball. You've got to keep going. Put some pressure on, but they've got to rip in those rebounds. They've got the rebounds. As Nickel finishes once again. Uh, look, good pressure. Five or six offensive rebounds to uh, Victoria of this game so far. Here we go, Queensland. Working the ball slowly. Maybe angle there. Yeah, he's telling it. Yes, Drop. That's is. a great call. To say, Lockie, get out of there. You're far too high. Give me the sweep. I will take it. Yeah. Goal for goal, though, this quarter. I think it's good that Victoria's stuck with the same seven they just had. As we said earlier, we've been really happy with Dave Butler in wing attack. I think one of the answers there is, will Platt be able to give us a quarter she just gave us? Oh, that's a lovely touch by Hillman. Lovely touch. He's not the biggest guy, Hillman. He's got a good jump on him. Oh, he's got he's got great elevation. For for not a tall man. That's uh But a bit of an agile defender, probably what they need for a little bit. Libby Nickel finishes once again. Nice arc on his shot. Goal for goal once again. Queensland have got to convert and got to get a turnover. Yeah. It's this, it's that conversions. They need the conversions off the turnovers. Shannon Taylor started working his Lifting his work rate, sorry, this quarter. I want to see a bit it's more just, again. I want to, lovely. That was the last. Yes, I mean, agree with you on that. I think Shannon, when these turnovers occur, he needs to take control and really make the conversion count. Exactly right. He's so settled, so patient, but we do know he can lift here. And I, I do think he's one of the keys. If he lifts, I'll, we'll see the rest of their mid-court lift as well. Oh, it's a lovely, that's a lovely hold there. And good finish. Look, Hillman's having a crack, but he Nickel is hard to stop once she's got her eye in. She's good from range. She's good up close. They've got to do something to put her shot off. Oh, that was a lovely seal there. But the obstruction had already been called well before the release. Uh, just caught on the body there, Andrew Lewis. Lucky Carter Smart brings the ball straight up. Says, umpire, have a look at how close they are. Because <laughs> I can't shoot from there with her arm in my way. Finishes. Look, we were slightly skeptical of this change, but it has provided a good clear target for them that Victoria aren't answering very well. But and certainly after the changes that uh, Victoria made at half time, they haven't. It hasn't slowed their uh, their drive or the uh, or the goals they're getting. Terrific goal, Lockie. Then that's a that's beautiful shot. shot. Such a lovely shot. Former teammate of mine. It's an absolute joy to watch him put those shots in. A great drive there by Shannon, and that's oh, a great feed. Nice take. Look, much oh, more settled oh. on his feet than he used to be, Lockie Carter. He doesn't mind a yeah. bit of crowd interaction, Lockie Carter. <laughs> Gets worked up with it. I well, do he, enjoy that. He, you know, we had the local men's comp that we have up in Queensland. You know, very tough to stop, very tough. And he's playing against all the guys that are in our team. So his feet have certainly um, gotten better than I've seen over the last year. You, I would say even six months ago, a year ago, he probably wouldn't have stuck that land in on that. Now he did. Terrific, and that's what Queensland need. Goal for goal here at the moment, but oh, Queensland they're they're just keeping need. it at seven goals. That's right. A lot of hard work. There's still plenty of time to go. We've got about ten minutes to go. Only a third away through the quarter. Queensland got plenty of time, and they showed it last quarter. They managed to push that back and towards the end of the quarter. Patience here from Queensland. That's all we need. Ooh. So ticky tacky, get their stuff out of the game. Yeah. You keep yourselves in play, those defenders. Those opportunities will arise for the Victorian team. Alona Natokarua, much better this quarter than she was in the second, I must say. Yeah. She's They're been given the clear instruction, I think. Yeah. I think their ball pressure so far through the middle of the court has been better than it was in that third quarter, too. And I do apologise oh, to her, and her family if I am mispronouncing it. 
No, no, good. Silent G. Silent G. That's all. Great pass. Oh, Ooh, interesting right. call. I think the only reason he was really off balance it's it was contest. probably a little bit of a push, but that said, it's we don't mind seeing a bit of a physical contest. contest. It's a contest. And that was one Lockie Carter. What he probably needed to do was just keep him, not move off it when he did. Yeah. And the he allowed himself to get off balance. Movement was too early for the pass. But Queenslander managed to get the turnover back. That's it. Oh, patience That's there. it. You don't want to force the other call. Oh, gets his own rebound. Lewis nearly timed that beautifully on that. Just the bounce wasn't quite right in these rings. They've got a little bit of bounce in them. So a lot of defenders have taken a little bit to, to adjust to that rebounding. Oh, Sammy Hurst just takes a small little shirt front, bounces off it. That's a lovely pass there. Oh, back your and shot from there. You've been good this quarter, Lorna. Yep. Lewis That's can't get the distance on Carter. That's a turnover they needed. Seven goals back down to five now, I believe. They, they want to lift here, Queensland. And another, wow. Ah. Queensland. And one thing that Queensland are normally really good at, they normally get really good crowd support regardless of where, what state they're playing in. Queensland squads are terrific at sorting each other's teams out. Even though there's a couple of Queensland teams playing at the moment, they are very vocal supporters. And we're sitting right near their bench. Their bench is very vocal. They're very supportive of their team. They're really trying to lift their team. Yeah, use the mismatch there. Alona has really lifted this quarter so far. I'm I think really happy with her quarter this quarter. Maybe it's what the, they needed from her. Maybe the quarter off was a, a refocus for her. Maybe a little bit of a, just have this quarter off. We're going to give some fresh legs there. Give her a clear instruction. She's gone and done it. A little bit of mid-court pressure there by Victoria. Oh, seven wow, seven. it doesn't. Oh. Oh. oh, very lucky there. She wow. made the move one way, but she managed to get back to it. That's how fast she is as well. Terrific agility. Great change of direction. Back to shot here. Takes a breath. She's fired up there, Alora, isn't here. she? Well, Queensland, are, uh, they've made two. They've dropped that half, that half that lead. All right. Even we, are, more. we are back to two. This is absolutely game on in this semi-final. So some great tactical changes there at three-quarter time. They fought away. They fought away. Sometimes that's what you've got to do as well. Just persevere. As Queensland draw the call, Hillman's just drawn a little bit of a that's contact good. obstruction call. That's okay at this point in time. Keep the shooters accountable. And then straight away back in rebound. Back in just in case there's a rebound. Oh, Hillman! He, I thought he missed time. I that. thought he missed time, but as well. But he managed to still get it. He's kept the front position though. That's the difference this quarter. And He's this kept is, front position. And this is and this is where Shannon, Shannon Taylor, the control. They've just got the turnover they needed. Two goals down. And look at him. He's cleared off, but he's still there as an option. That's, oh, I, I really do love watching him in centre. Slight man crush in centre, I must say. Wow. Making a change Making there, Victoria. A tactical change. They've brought the younger next hip brother on. Also a very good defender, Corey next hip. I do quite like watching him in defence. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it against Lucky Carter. Let's see if he can. And thank God you know who it is, because I tell you what, I do not know the difference between both of them. There's a, seriously, there's enough similarity. There's a couple <laughs> of years difference between them. This is Corey Nexip's first Nationals, and I tell you what, he's had a ripper so far. Look at it. He's just trying to body up. He's keeping eyes on it. Wants to have a crack. Probably just he probably need a minute or so just to find his footwork, find the way it's there. But I'm not sure if they're going to have the minute with Lockie Carter's not missing shots there. No, no. This is uh, this has been a great fight back here by Queensland. They've got a score here as well, and look for it. Conversion every time you want to consolidate this point. Oh, yep. Lockie Carter does finish it. He's such a confidence player, Lockie Carter. And, and 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 you can see they've lifted. And with that, Lockie's Lockie's confidence goes through the roof too. Oh, nice little battle off the camera here between goal defence for Victoria, goal attack for Queensland. Don't mind it. Oh, Sammy Hurst. Oh, wow. Not that sure what the call close. is. It's come by. Can't cut to the umpire. Maybe a contact there. But she has a good crack still. <laughs> There's a bit of biff going on, and I love it. Good swing there, Victoria. Oh, 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 oh I got away with it. But yes. that's another time that Butler has just read that. He's just, he is cool. That is cool there. And Nickel finishes. Back to one goal lead. Call for towel here. Just indicating there's been a couple of players on the ground. Let's maybe give that a quick white. And probably a little break that Queensland need here. Just catch their breath again. They've let Victoria make the change. Couple of quick goals. 
settle again. Four and a half minutes to go. What a cracking four and a half minutes. Wow, the timing. Oh, the timing. That, that's silly. You don't need that. But keep the pressure up here. This will push him back out to two goals if Victoria can score. And realistically, there was no pressure. The goal defence wasn't anywhere nearer. Yeah. So it's timing. Just got to settle on every centre pass. Rebound, oh, rebound, rebound, rebound coming. Rebound. Lockie Dean, chase it up. Contact from Shannon outside. Lockie does get to have the shot here. Should be inside. Pressure that pocket ball here. Contact outside from Tano was okay. Oh, I got away. Mm. Yeah, that was a silly obstruction by Hillman. Yeah. I would have like. Oh, Ooh. this is the point. You've got to keep the discipline in that circle. Exactly, as well. exactly. You, <laughs> you can't do much when you're standing beside the player. Unfortunately, just giving the easy shot. Libby Nichols says, "No, I'm passing it back to my <laughs> player." <laughs> oh, it's good. What a great. Oh, this will be. Ooh, wow. I'm, I'm not quite sure she did then, but this. Caught off angle. Uh, they'll, they'll both go and bang. They'll bang harder there. That's fine. And Butler doesn't drop many balls, that said. So no, no. maybe it was. Good angle there, Victoria. They're looking to push this back out to three. With three minutes to go, Tighter approximately. Tighter in the defence. Oh, oh, Hillman. Yes. Oh. oh. So close. But that was good positioning by Nickel. Yeah, she had great front position. She's great got to convert. Position. Rebound by... Oh, oh Hillman. That's a good rebound. How did he pull that in? Yeah. One hand, but they've thrown it away. Turned it straight over. Wow. Oh, have they? Yes, I believe There's a they miscommunication have. there. Ben's absolutely convinced that it was Queensland's ball. Couple of quick turnovers. Queensland have got to settle this ball. Score on this, Queensland, is all they got to do. With three minutes to go. You know, one possession game here. Oh, great contest, Elle McDonald. Oh, she's caught it the other way. I, wow. I think it was a great contest. I think there. it was. They went for it. I would have liked to see that. Maybe even let go. Mm. That was a terrific contest. Elle McDonald determined to get it. Maybe she got a oh, no. oh, next hip. That's a great contest. That is a really nice read. This is such an exciting game. This is what you want from oh. semi-final netball as well. Oh, that's oh. a great drive. That's fantastic. And that's what went I missing in, hit, in that second quarter. Yeah. Back to one goal. What's the time being called for? We just want a few more towers. Everyone's spending time on the ground. <laughs> Deep. Here we go. He's going to love his moment to get on camera here for a bit of a clean up. Just there. Checking. Beautiful, he says. Wow. On centre pass here. Fantastic two and a half minutes coming up. This could stay even. It is, this is where Shannon, as we talked earlier. Oh, nice tap next hip. Oh, I'm getting a bit shouty because I'm getting a bit excited. <laughs> All right. Oh, so let's kind of uh, getting hands over it. So this right, this well, is what we want to see. This is the game we've been wanting. It's been a terrific game good in netball. Ball pressure. The ball pressure. Oh wow. Oh, maybe a bit a of slippery ball there. You've really got to concentrate with these Gilbert balls as well. They get a bit slippery as soon as there's a bit of sweat. Just a touch off there. I think they're five, five, six feet here, Queensland. Time really now. Oh, Hillman. Oh, Hillman. Does he get it? Who is no. she calling the contact on? Is she calling on Hillman or is she calling on Taylor? Well, Hillman's out of play. Tough two on one inside here. Got to work your feet here. But Yes. She doesn't want that shot. Good, Good shot. work. I'd okay, like to see Hillman ready shot. to jump on that. Right for the rebound. That's Good a finish. lovely shot. Victoria's Big ball. Turn. Victorian crowd's getting up, getting excited turn. there. Big turnover. So that's two goals again. Victoria's centre looking to score here. Nice patience. Queensland really needs to do a lot of ball pressure here. Let's try and force the... Yes! Oh, wow. That Just is unlucky. the obstruction call there. Probably let him off a little bit. But got to recover. This is looking to push it out to three. Yep. And with just over a minute to go... There is still time here. Tough. Oh, no, most There is definitely. absolutely still time. You can score very quickly. Score very quickly, and there it is. And they will score quickly You've if they got, can do And it. they've got to put it in. And they Get can. the ball back. Get the ball back to their centre. That's right. Al McDonald just Another walking time. back. Yes, umpires. Right he said, on top no, of thank it. you. You cannot walk back Ooh, like that. Very close. Oh, and great ball, oh, Butler. Wow. Just misread there from Hillman. And He's having a hunt. And that that's pushes all, the back that's out. All the will there be enough time? Queensland, got to score here, got to get a turnover. Let the yeah, ball go. Boys, you let the ball go. Oh, great take, Lucky Carter. Scores, got to get Scores the ball going. back. Well, got to get the ball back. He's holding time. Holding He's time saying, he no, knows. you will not jug that back. Got to get a turnover, turn Queensland. Queensland. Not sure they're going to have the time. No, I don't think so. I think they're going to run out of time. 
And hands over, hands up. For the knee. You're looking for that three second call. Hold there, Hillman, no. beautiful. And Doesn't shorten, it. she oh, scores. That that's, ices the game. That's gonna be enough. That is gonna be that enough, Libby Nicole. Queensland though, I think what's gonna be shown here, terrific win, Victoria, 46-43. I think what we've seen here is Queensland fought back terrifically. If they can get through their pre prelim final, we're gonna have an absolute that, game on our hands. If they can get through that, that's what it is. If they can get through that prelim, what a fantastic grand final matchup that is tomorrow. Now, we're going to go off to our sponsors, then we'll be back with our medals to go player of the match. Welcome back. Post-match here with Dave Butler, the medals to go, player of the match. Dave, the move from centre to wing attack really seemed to pay dividends for you guys in Victoria. Yeah, unfortunately one of our players um, got injured on a contest that she had, um, but I think that's what makes us so strong as we are 12 deep. We were saying in commentary that the mismatch seemed to be working well for you. You found your feet a little bit again as a wing attack. Your feet's so sure. Do you think the mismatch is an absolute key for the Victorians game to beat Queensland again? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, also having Al back in the centre as well offers that variety that we have and being able to give that long ball um, and also that second drive to the ball as well. So, A few other changes made during the game. Both goalers changed at the, one of the major breaks. Do you think just that fresh energy is enough to keep you guys going? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, um, we're 12 deep. We know that everyone can do their job uh, once it's asked of them um, and everyone rises to the occasion because we absolutely love it here. Fantastic game, Dave. Well done. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be back in the near future with the Queensland and Victoria Opens match. Looking forward to it.